This is a pile of chaff that has dropped from the edge of the drum between the drum and the drop chute outside the roaster. This gap is where the chaff is falling between. These two um, hex nuts that are on this collar right here need to be loosened and then this shaft can get pulled out or in. So we're going to want to pull this in closer so that the drum gap is tighter. So what I just did, if you look, that, that's too close of a tolerance and it touches. That's too far. I need to get this just ever so close like that. And then with the hex tool, I, I loosened these before I turned the video on. You have to tighten these. Okay, so I've got both of these hex nuts tightened. After we made our adjustment, the clearances are really close, but I don't think this is going to rub. And so we're going to turn the roaster on. And we're going to turn on the drum so that it starts to turn. And it's really close, but I don't hear it rubbing. I think we're in good shape. So that's how you adjust the drum distance and tolerances on a Mill City 500 gram TJ066 coffee roaster.